I'm sure they did their Game homework. I'm Game sure they're Game much more prepared for this team. Here we go. Here we go. Let's play pickleball. Gabe Tardio to serve. Andre goes flying, and uh, the Johns are not going to be in a hurry. Yeah. Smooth start. Some people come out swinging. The Johns brothers come out dinking. For sure. They come out with a very secure game plan. Yeah. And uh, I'm certain there were changes suggested from the algorithm from the loss out in Phoenix. Yeah. Methodical. Tardio getting creative early. Scorpion on the right side of his body, and that thing went right through the middle. Yep, at the right time, too. Zero, zero, two. Andre Deescu in the house. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How in the world was there room for that? Just waits right to the last second, giving himself that One, window zero, and pulls the trigger in that back corner, eight ball corner pocket. Oh, Gabe was in trouble, but the band can't make it, so they get one. Again, this is the last match of the day for these zero, four one, fellas one. and first of four semifinals that we'll have for you. Letting out balls go out. That's a big part of the equation here, Dave. You got to do that. When I practice or I play rec, I pretend in my head that those are worth five points. One, one, one. You got to let so, out balls go out. So you only have to win two or three <laughs> yeah, just rallies. Just let two out balls go out, yeah. and you're, you're going to win the match. Second serve. So far, these teams are one apiece. One, one, two. Uh -oh. Side out. Can't keep his hands dry. Yeah, Andre is not happy with his grip right now. One, one, one. And look at that. Point. CJ just gets that counter in almost every time. Yeah, one of my students uh, phrased it best. You don't have to get ready if you are ready. Two, one, one. Bingo. You don't have to get ready if you stay ready. Colin Johns, never not. Second serve. And it's the work before this match started. He knows where Andre is going to speed up. He knows two, where one, his two. paddle needs to be, and he is there. Point. And, uh, Uncharacteristic start for Andre. A missed serve, a missed return, a missed Three, sitter one, earlier. This guy's usually so consistent. come a pressure with the 1-0 against a team like this coming into this. In Arizona, they were they were raw. They were playing raw. Yes. Here and it's like here they are playing sloppy. And it, uh, freebie factory visits have been plentiful off the paddle of Andre Diescu, and that is the big reason for this lead here in game one. Sneak attack, CJ, with a beautiful Ernie. Just relentless pressure. It's a great get by Diascu, but just an even better move by Colin Johns, just pouncing on that ball. Six, one, two. And still with the great placement with that Ernie. Go. 
a freebie here at 2,800 feet above sea level. Just a casual leave there, and they are rolling 7-1 seven on one, the two. quest for four titles in a month. <laughs> Eight and one. This freight train is rolling down the tracks. Eight one two. We saw a lot of that in Arizona, so uh, let's see if they have a response. Very little action for Gabe Tardy. One, so far. That's true, that's true. And he was the X Factor yes. in that Arizona match. for Gabe there off the tape and a little extra revenge-minded swing from Ben. <laughs> brother screaming at younger brother to get out of the way and he does and absolutely nothing for Daskew and Tardio. Rick Wall, Colin Johns. No ATP. like a hurricane with the scorpion there from Colin Johns. You know, people talk about, you know, height as an advantage of this game, but still you see players with that height bending their knees as much as they can to lower their level to pull off shots like that. If you're short out there, there is an advantage in it. Way too high, but Andre recovers. here. Handled. Oh, wow. Relentless pressure on both sides, and it is Andre and Gabe who survived that rally. Second try to get to 10. Something you only see at this type of level is that in and out of the hands battle, back to the neutral, back into the hands battle. Just throws Gabe deep into jail there on that cross court. Little dink, and my goodness, 10 1 and a game point. Message set from the top seed 11 1. Get on out of here. We remember Mesa. the best stuff. He was game nowhere off. near it game in game two, one. Yeah, and like I said, you know, Andre's the rock. Uh, Tardio is the X Factor. I need Tardio everywhere and nowhere. There we go. Starting Side off the out. bat. It's going to be Daescu to fire up the target. Yes. Right? Zero, zero, and Andre's just got to start making balls just very uncharacteristically sloppy. And there's, this is what Gabe was just firing in Mesa. Yeah, and that's a more fierce look that we've seen at all in game one. one so one. I think they're up for the challenge here. Jeez. There he is. Yes. There it is. That's what we're going to need here. Gabe Tardio has arrived. 
Okay, and unlike football where first quarter plus second quarter is a thing, that 11-1 doesn't matter. It's thrown Two, away. Zero, right. one. Oh, that would have been huge if he made Seven, that. Sir. Interesting. They are returning to Tardio here, and he is ripping forehands. CJ frustration with the, with the net cords he to loves get those. in there. Oh, he, yeah. he adores them. Those, yeah. He has a shirt that says, I heart net cords. Yeah, probably his favorite pickleball phenomenon. Oh, my. So the two rallies they lost there, they were actually in great position. But what a response coming out of the break between games. Dictation here from Diascu. Tardio's turn. Oh my. CJ got exactly what he wanted, but can't make the follow up. These are the type of players where it takes more than Zero, one. Three, you know, that two. ball is coming back, and you need to have reloaded your hands and be ready for that exchange. Smidge of trouble for a second there, but they're able to regain the advantage and put it down. Ben Johns doing Ben Johns things. Oh no, we got a football call here. Called it football. I think, but more so making him guess where Tario is at any time. After video review, the fall call stands. Timeout lost. Challenge lost. Two timeouts remaining, one timeout remaining. We're resume play at 2 3 2. So that will cost him a timeout in the point, and if he wore a size A like me, he would have been fine there. But uh, Gabe <laughs> just got a piece of two, that three, line, two. and it doesn't matter how much of it you're on. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's grown double in, si in size since last April. And Andre said no. That increase in aggressive presence from Tardio Three, is going to allow one. is going to allow Andre Deescu to do more unpressured things and have less pressure on him to do what he wants to do, like that. Look at the oh. big fella comes flying in there and then just out of his reach and getting it out of that man's wingspan is a problem. That's a pterodactyl over there. Three, two, two. Still a good mentality shift. They don't want to get discouraged by any of that. They want to keep it going. Stay relentless. Attacking Ben Johns for a point. That's what happened in Mesa. It was that. You can't just by default say, I can't attack Ben Johns. He already wins if you're making those types of decisions. I ask you now. Boomer. Here comes the Oklahoma guy. Told me he was in Norman a few weeks ago for the first time in a while. Uh-oh. Same guy didn't miss by much, but it did miss. So they chip away the couple more, so the lead is three. Off the back edge of the tape. He yeah. lived to tell about it. That was bizarre. Everyone kind of thought it was deep. Yeah, 
see this Three, just five, packed into this beautiful Humana Championship court. Oh, oh. <laughs> CJ's there. Oh, no. Second serve. Little brother. Yeah. I just came flying up there. Yeah, he tries to steal second, get into that kitchen Three, line five, there. Two. and. Uh, been talking about 40 times all weekend on the NFL draft. Whoopsie. <laughs> I think that was an unintended lob as it just skidded off the line and then Andre could not come up with an option. Four, five, two. Yeah, I had to run a 40 for my ultimate Frisbee tryouts uh, a couple of years ago that I, a couple of years ago, was like 10 years ago. Wow, what a round. Wow. What was the time on the 40, Rob? So they clocked me at 4.2. In the 40. And they said, that can't be right. No. <laughs> I was going to say, the fastest ever at the combine was 4 2 1. Good night. Second serve. So they made me run it again. They clocked me at 4.38. That's moving, brother. Six, it's four, probably two. faulty equipment, but uh, true story. Uh oh. Point. CJ not happy with the surface there. Points at the exact spot that he was unhappy seven, four, with, two. but it is now 7-4. That serves Side deep. Out. Hate to kill your own momentum when you're not really trying to clobber the serve. Right. Four, seven, one. Four. Great eye. Man, another good leave. So many players would have hit that. Yeah. Some people, some players are incapable of letting that ball go, and these guys just perceive time differently. Five, seven, one. his left shoulder and that gets destroyed yeah a lot of people perceive dinking as this patty cake but Six, seven, one. it is moving pieces every day with purpose moving the opponents gaining advantage what? oh no oh man a thousand options went through Gabe Tardio's head he went with one of them <laughs> and he should have chosen one of the other 999, unfortunately. Oh, my goodness. Pretzeled himself there. He did. Rolled gold off balance. Wow. Okay, so Gabe's like, I don't care. Here, here it comes again. Two hours from Vegas. Lucky seven's on the board here. counter and the Johns brothers who have trailed this entire game now have a one point Eight, lead. Seven, two. Oh. 
CJ tries the tricky throw your body to the left and go inside out, and the big fella said, I don't think so. And he pounces back to bring that ball to the sideline. Great body weight control, give himself the shot that he wants. Uh-oh. Ben John seems to be heating up here. Oh, Tardio, proves me wrong. Anything attackable, Gabe's pulling eight, eight, the trigger, four. and that has made a big difference here. Yes. Yes. Look at the reach of the big man. Wow. Just the reach gives him the opportunity to that ball, but the anticipation Nine, eight, one. is what opens that door. Andre Dasky. Oh, there's the oh. Tardio. I formation, they're out of it. What? No! Gabe no! Tardio finds the sideline. Ridiculous. Chest bumps. Let's go, Gabe. My goodness. Receiver, 10 8 1. Boom. Far Game away point. from what's your background? Pickleball. Tight end, 10 That's right. 1. That's right. Here we go, game point to force a third game. Spin lob is a beauty. Oh no! Oh my goodness! After a pinpoint topspin lob Game from the point. youngster, Gabe Tardio free flowing. It was a beautiful lob. Oh, it's like three feet off the baseline, but they were still forced to play the bounce. Yeah, because they were fooled because it looked the same. Second try to force a third game. Can't forget it's the Johns brothers here. Starts this fight. It's to ask you. Colin Johns all day. Tricky man, Andre. Eight ten two. Uh -oh. And Gabe's been frozen out at the kitchen line. They don't want that forehand firing away. I don't blame him. He's been on point in game two. Nine ten two. You talked about the Johns discipline. Percentage-wise, not too long ago, he who started the fight, you know, was going to lose it. You know, not anymore. These days, with the paddle technology and level of play, not sure what those percentages are. Yes. I'm rooting for more pickleball. As is everyone in the stadium <laughs> and watching at home, ten, and we ten, thank one. you that you are. Ten apiece. Oh, okay. Second serve. Uh, let's see if CJ just told Ben to return it there again. Can't imagine ten, ten, two. giving the Jones brothers another side out opportunity here. That's exactly what he told them. Oh, 
Oh my. Missed dink from Ben. And they have a third game point here. 11 10 2. And yeah. Ben splits the uprights. But they do get one. What a battle. Smidge of communication from Collins to Ben there. Yours. You don't see it too often. Ops for the drop shot. CJ let a dink fly a little too far. Yes. 11, 11, 1. is 100 asked you a great ball to pull the trigger on here. From below the net into Ben Johns. Unreal play by both, both sides. We Turn break through. In. No, let me just 11, go ahead and do my 11, drop shot one. like I know how to do and, uh, and, and take the money. Who is going to take the money right here? Too far. Diaski ties up Game CJ. Point. Game point four at a third different score. Oh my, Gabe saw exactly what he wanted and misses it by a foot. We get a second try here. Number five. Welcome to the Pickler, where everything's better. Everything's better at the Pickler. Everything's better at the Pickler. New ball. Diaskew and Tardio Game won the only time these two three. teams played earlier this year in February. to the paddle side, hip gets him going. X-Factor, Gabe Tardio. One, zero, two. Out. Ooh. I mean, that ball's gonna hit the scoreboard, but how do you get out of the way? No time, no time two, to decide. Zero, two. That's 
what you kind of call a blow up is stops being the responsibility of you to keep the ball in. Wow. Starts being their responsibility to let the ball go out. Electric, fast paced start here for the nine seed. Up three nothing. Three zero two. You are on fire. The Johns brothers have not served yet in game four, number zero, three. Two. It's four nothing. We're going to need a huge upswing of energy on the side of the Colin Johns, Ben Johns side of the net. They want to stay in this match. He didn't need to do that, but they got exactly what they Zero, wanted. Four, a one. hot start after a very tense finish. <laughs> a little high doesn't do it justice. Lanky Ernie from Andre Daeski. Yeah, way too high from CJ on the third. Zero, four, two. Ben coming in hot and a little wild there and they do nothing Four, zero, with the ball. One. Held to zero. Five, five straight. Turnout receiver, five, zero, one. Wow, and CJ and Ben rarely call timeout, but this is DEFCON 1 right here. They have a big problem. They're down 5 nothing. What is going on, Rob Cassidy? It's not something we get to talk about often, but what adjustments can, can Colin and Ben make to... to and what is your answer to your own question? Well, in my opinion, basically, really just watching this match, I do feel like Colin has some room to get a little more pressurized and aggressive with his dinks. I'm seeing some opportunities where, you know, he does his standard keep it going, wait till Ben gets involved, where he could really kind of dictate or manipulate Dayescu uh, with those with those balls. Um, so for Colin to get a little more Ben-like, you know, be closer to have two more, two Bens out there, or, you know, um, evolve seconds. from that setup role Receiver, or that, you know, that rock roll remaining. into Server. a force, a two threat seconds. with those dinks. More pressurized dinks from Colin Johns. There you have it. Can Gabe and Andre Five, zero, possibly one. switch ends with a goose egg on the John side? Good stop. Second try to do that. Good timeout. Five zero two. Wow! Inside out, and they will switch ends at six. Goose egg. Goose egg acquired, Dave. <laughs> Look at this swing of the paddle from the youngster. Crazy inside out. Look at that. Very wristy, and it works. And tied up and You attack off your opponent's paddle and out is a great way to rack up points. And this is a couple of rare sights here. Number one, obviously, the scoreboard. But throw that away. We saw a timeout on defense. And then we have Ben actually sitting in between, they usually sit down for 10 seconds, take a drink of water, if, if, if anything, and then walk over there. So obviously the scoreboard is serious, but just their actions are a little different here. Yeah. And Ben Johns, you know, the best, most discipline, disciplined player I've ever come across in the game of pickleball. Uh, honorable mention to Kalen Dawson. But, uh, you know, he has decided to keep that ball away from Tardio at all costs, almost restricting them in a way which, again, like I mentioned, gives Dayescu those options. If he can Time maybe Six, zero, bold two. up a little bit and get De uh, Tardio involved on his terms, something's got to change. Oh, Gabe. <laughs> Went for something absolutely bonkers. He made one of the deepest zero, ATPs six, you'll ever see in game two, so uh, we'll keep an eye on him.
good dinking. What a save. Colin John struts to the kitchen line midpoint. Doesn't speed it up though. ball to me. Do not hit me the ball. And there is the big fella saying, I got you, Gabe. Zero still on the scoreboard. Funnel, funneling the action to Andre Daescu, and he's just living the good life there with all the options. Six, zero, one. So sloppy in game one, and now Andre is at the height of his powers. Second serve. Great return from Colin there. It's nice to see this powerhouse team form, you know, amongst the exchanges of partners yes. and stuff like this one's to stick. It's a great combo, entertaining to watch, and I love both those gentlemen. Two. Hands for days. So Gabe speeds it up, and Ben is up to the challenge that time. So they do not add to their six. They lose the point, but you got to do it. Oh, absolutely. Ben takes the third. Man, and he's tried this attack a couple times in game three. Not even close. Dink from Ben, Andre all over. I don't like the posture of Colin here. It's uh, a little bit defeated. I'd love to see him keep that athletic stance and keep his nose in these exchanges. He needs to recover quicker than that. Forehand counter, Rob Cassidy. Never not ready, Gabe Tardio. And his swing is just a little more compact on this exchange. Benz is a little bit big and just can't get it back in time to, to stay in the rally. The flicker from Gabe Tardio for another point on the board. And another timeout of timeouts are the Johns brothers. Wow. ball to Andre Daescu. It just one. doesn't sound like a good plan on paper. Second, and it's just a testament to who Gabe Tardio is in the world of pickleball, yep. that they are forcing you to do just that. Nine, zero, two. A beautiful shot Start from out. Ben there. So, nine, nothing. Can the rally start here? Zero, nine, Look at one. this scoreboard right now. Holy smokes. <laughs> Just remarkable. Tardio says there's no room in the middle. Is 
is well deep on the backhand roll from Ben Johns. Again, goose egg stays. Nine, zero, one. Goodness. We are at pickle point in a semifinal after dropping game one, 11 1. What do you call it, Dave? 10 0 1. Second serve. First match point is saved. Second try to put the goose egg in the ledger permanently. Match point. 10 0 2. Scoreline. The Giants are giant killers again. They lose 11-1, and then they just pickled the best team in the world to go to Championship Sunday. This is nuts. This is an unbelievable effort. It's Andre, what a unbelievable scoreline. What in the world changed? You got run over in game one, 11-1, and then it was a battle in game two, and then to pickle the Johns brothers? Come on. Yeah. Um, the first game, obviously, I, I, I played it pretty bad. Uh, I couldn't find any rhythm. Uh, missed a, a couple of serves, missed a bunch of returns. Uh, just props to Gabe for, for sticking with me. I definitely started finding my rhythm in the second game, but he still played really, really well. And then the third game is when I finally felt like I, I found my rhythm and I was able to drop and drive and, and kind of get a feel for that ball. So, uh, yeah, again, props to Gabe for staying with me. Crazy put away on that match point. And, uh, you know, we, we knew how to fight and continue to fight. I mean, this guy's a great competitor. They're, they won so many medals and such good players. So we, we knew we couldn't let down that third, but uh, everything kind of went our way. And uh, just happy with the outcome and, again, this guy is an absolute rock. Dave Tardio, you are the X Factor. You were able to turn it on in game two and reclaim this match. Tell me, is there something about playing with Andre that allows you to play your best? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Andre is always pumping me up. Great partner, great competitor. He was pumping me up in that first game, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's such a, such a great player. It's someone I look up to. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's always so positive uh, and just a great partner overall. So thanks for Andre. And because of his uh, positive, uh, it's letting me play at my 100%. Yeah, I think also the reason why we're able to play at 100% was this electric crowd right here. I mean, it was so much fun to play in front of these people. I mean, you kidding me? After yeah, every point, the, the crowd, crowd is going. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. They're no joke, Andre, that's for sure. So, Andre, this time you've now beaten the Johns brothers. You're 2-0 against them. How do you finish the deal? What are you and Gabe going to do tonight to get ready for a big battle with whoever wins the semifinal coming up later? Because obviously your work isn't done here. Uh, yeah, stretch, recovery, hydration, dinner, watch some <laughs> video, and then, uh, you know, come back tomorrow and, and try to do our best, obviously. It's a game of runs, so like this, this match just showed, you know, first game wasn't going our way, third game couldn't, we couldn't do anything wrong in there. So uh, just got to stay with it, try to do the best we can, and hopefully we'll, we'll pick up another win tomorrow.